So here what I'm going to do is um, put some of the propane into this refrigeration system. I've sucked as much of the old refrigerant out of it as this compressor would let me. So, and I turned it on and it's still actually frosting up. So it, it doesn't pull a proper vacuum, but that's all I can do just now. Um, I think I could pull a better vacuum if I took the inlet of that and connected it to the outlet of there, then I do get a better vacuum, and I think that's what I'm going to do just now. I'll try putting propane in it. Now, one thing that's strange is this propane, it doesn't seem to smell very much. Um, this this is R600A isobt, and it's got sort of a, a little bit of a smell to it. Um, just kind of like your normal lighter fluid, and this propane's sort of the same. Now my old tank, absolutely stank of my captain, but this stuff doesn't seem to smell very much at all. It, it smells totally different. It's more of a funny sort of chemical kind of smell. It's, I can only describe it as sort of like uh, just the butane out of your lighter. That may be because all of this long length of hose I'm running it through, I don't know. So, that is now the two compressors connected together. Um, now one of them's running, but I'm just going to bring this compressor here online. And once I do that, the flow should increase. I'll give a good kick there. It's making a not very nice noise, but it always does that when it's under vacuum. Now there's both of them running. So we'll just let that run for a wee while longer, and then we'll just let it suck in some air. Get all that refrigerant purged out. So there we go. So now, I've vacuumed it out as much as I can. So, I'll probably have a tiny bit of refrigerant left, but it's consuming 81 watts currently, and it's not freezing up anymore. So I just need to purge this short length of hose. And you know it's purged because you'll see shimmering coming from the end. And basically I'm just gonna add the propane as vapor, and I'll just look at the power consumption um, I can only charge by sound and feel just now because I don't have any gauges. Okay, this might be loud or sound stupid, but I'm just going to place the camera down on top of the compressor so you can maybe get an idea of the sound of what's happening. This is just me adding the refrigerant, so that's what the hissing will be. And now it's beginning to make that characteristic noise that you sometimes hear freezers making. And I reckon that's just the propane boiling off in the evaporator. Now the, the discharge pressures on this will be higher, because um, this is propane we're dealing with. And the power consumption is a bit higher as well. So it is sort of working. I don't know if it's as good as R600. It probably won't be because the compressor's not designed to run on propane. And the only R290 compressor I could find was a variable speed one on eBay and I didn't have the controller with it. And the other ones I could find were rather expensive. I think you could use an R404 compressor for it as well. So I reckon running the propane, I don't think it's going to, in this setup, 
move any more heat it's probably just going to be much colder so I think that's it pretty much charged as you can see there's um, the evaporator is almost fully frosted now but I've noticed that the condenser is only it's only very slightly warm and the discharge is it's barely warm so I'm not sure what's going on there it's probably because there's not much heat actually there for it to move I think if it's hotter then obviously the temperature of the condenser would go up so yeah that's now the whole uh, um, evaporator coil frozen up right to the compressor pretty much it's all frosty. So it seems to work not too bad actually. It's consuming about 102 watts in the compressor. So far anyway, it's still very slightly warm to the touch. In the condenser it's still only slightly warm. So I'd say we've got plenty there for refrigeration experiments. I reckon this tank is going to last me for years. Anyway, for the sort of stuff I use it for.